Good morning, everyone. This is Rishi Brandon Stafford with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. And today, I've got another channeled message from Spirit for you, so let me go ahead and get out of the way. It's all a spiritual game. All of it. All this 3D. Hell, even a couple dimensions beyond the 3D. It's all a spiritual game. The thing is, is we have to realize that before we can even start playing. <laughs> and that's the reason why there's several religions and things out there that really push the fear because they get scared by it. When you stay in the baseline of spirituality, that, that very first awakening portion, when you stay like that, it can look very daunting. It can look like, you know, there's, there's, there's no hope. There's no reason for a lot of these things, right? As you dig further, you find more and more deeper reason you find more and more reason to let go of control, uh, more and more reason to go into surrender. But until you understand that everything in your life is part of this spiritual game, you will suffer. Not as a punishment, no. It's just the nature of the game. Closer to truth, farther from truth. The closer you move to, to, towards truth, the better you feel. The more empowered you feel, the more limitless you feel. The farther you move away from truth, the less empowered you feel. It's like you're unplugging yourself from the power source. You may have a little bit of juice left there, but it's going to be a struggle. That's literally how it works, folks. So it's all a spiritual game. And if you have faith that in whatever spiritual source that you want to, you can create one even if you want. But as long as you have absolute faith that everything is okay and being taken care of by that thing, you just have to continue to do your work with the best of intentions, then you'll be good. All right, everybody. I hope that this message helps. I hope that this reaches you today. If for some reason your heart feels called to schedule a session with me, tarot, breathwork, meditation, yoga, Tibetan sound healing, energy healing, anything like that, send me a message. I'd be more than happy to get you on my schedule and on the books. Have a great day on purpose and stay mindful. Namaskar.